Hi everybody, this is Adam. Let's take a look at our uh, week nine project, shall we? I have here the spreadsheet as it's been given. Um, I did a little bit of formatting on it. Let's undo the formatting here. Okay, um, I'll double click these things like that. It says first requirement here is um, this column shows a date when the order was created. Please apply number formatting to so show a short date. So you just apply a short date format. And it says to do the same thing here too for this column. Okay, ship mode. There's nothing for you to do here. The next one over it says uh, replace the customer name Procina Hoffman with your name. So you can do a, a search and replace that's a control H um, and you can type in Procina Hoffman and put your name in there and it will replace it for you inside there now it says at the end of this create a column called new city okay now what you're going to want to do is write a function and it's as simple as an if and it's if e2 that city is equal to Los Angeles then make it the city you live in otherwise leave it whatever city it is that's as simple as that function is okay um, city state and region so you'll select all of the data and you'll do a sort and filter and this is a custom sort and you add three levels and you put the first one would be a region so you'd select region in this one the next one you'd select state and the third one you'd select uh, city or by new city actually because you've added new city in there right and so select new city there and then you, um, you you make sure it's ascending a to z rather than descending which would be z to a okay um, so that's how you sort it next one is category use conditional formatting to highlight the entire row and I'd never needed to do this before so I had to go look this one up so what you do here I'm gonna give us a little more room like this okay is you select this whole row like this okay and you'll do conditional formatting and you can create a new rule and you want to use a formula and what you want to do is say equals if the category equals technology then true or false okay return true for true if it there and you anchor it with in the h column so no matter which cell it's in in this row it's always looking at the h column and then when you copy this format from here down it will take h2 and make it h3 and make it h4 and make it h5 and of course you set a format or something like that on it too so it will apply it to each one of these things and I didn't put anything in here but you have to go equals true and so we'll put that in there just so you see that if you get the category the thing in there right that's what it'll look like across each one of the ones that have technology okay uh, the column needs to be formatted as currency so retail price is format that is currency that's up here you guys know how to do that quantity sold add a green check mark for every customer that ordered five or more items so again that's selecting this column and conditional formatting and icon sets and you have to find the green check mark set right here and what it'll do is give you some default rules and you can go in and you can manage that rule and you can edit this rule and you can actually say so change this to be um, not a percent but a number and you want the number to be five and you want to get rid of um, the other icons right like this done and done and this is uh, go back and you want to change this to a number and like that 
And if you see that, now you'll see you'll get the green check marks like that. So that's how that's done. Okay. Discount percent. The column needs to be formatted as a percentage. So use the percentage format up here. <clears throat> total sales. So you have to calculate the total sales. And this is this times this. Um, and then you need to calculate the discount. So it would be times 1 minus whatever this is. So if it's 30% off, right, that's your discount, it means they pay 70% of the price, right? So you subtract uh, the, the discount percentage from 1 or 100, right? Uh, so it's if it's 30%, you're going to multiply it by 70% or 1 minus the, the 0.3, okay? So that's how you would calculate the total sales. Create an additional column at the end called new order number, okay? And this says to use some region codes. And so what I would do is create a table on another sheet, and I would name the sheet something like um, uh, supporting data, okay? And create a north, an east, south, central, and west, and 101, 201, 301, 401, something like this, and format these things, okay? And and give I would probably even say east code, south code so on and so forth okay like that and then you could create the new order number equal to and you want it to be this order number and then do an uh, an if for a lookup you could do a lookup here or a, a set of ifs right you could find like uh, a lookup. So you want to match central right into your data right here and then get this column right here, right? And get this number here. That's the idea. And so you'd put that inside of here plus, so do a lookup to do that. Um, and then uh, once you have that thing, you're going to go ampersand and a dash and an ampersand this uh, order number right here right and that will get you that portion you got to figure out the lookup part for this okay based on your supporting data and the central value there then it says create a dashboard that allows you to look up your customer so if we create a dashboard and it says do a lookup for your customer so if you have customer and you're going to do a data validation probably here like you do on all of them doing a, a drop down lookup in uh, with all the customer names like this right inside there and you could name that customers or something and then do data validation against customers and once you have that lookup then you can put all these other columns here order date, ship date, ship mode, new region, and so on and so forth right here, across here or across here, however you want to do it, and then do the, the normal lookup based on this with all the other ones. Now remember that you can't use a V lookup here unless you do two th one thing. You'd have to move the customer column from here over to A, and you'd have to cut it essentially and then go here and insert cut cells and it would move everything over and once customers in the first column then you can use this data for a lookup okay a v lookup 
Otherwise, what you'll need is you'll need, if you leave it here and don't want to move it, then you do an index and a match or an XLOOKUP um, on, on each one of those columns in order to do this. Because a VLOOKUP, again, will only work if the thing you're looking up is in the first column of your data. Okay. So anyway, you'd put all those other uh, piece of information there in your dashboard. It says protect the dashboard sheet so that the customer name's the only one. Uh, I'm not gonna, you should be able to follow the video and show how to do that. I've put the lock cell thing here and then when you protect the sheet on here, um, protect the sheet, it'll ask you for do you select locked or unlocked cells and uh, just watch the video on how to protect sheets and I can't do it any better than that. Um, insight sheets. Now it asks you to create an insight. Now I'll be honest that looking at this data and looking at that thing makes it really hard to tell much about anything. So if it's me truly I would do this and I would go home and I would do an insert uh, of a pivot table uh, and the selected thing and I would ask it to put it in a new worksheet for me and I would do things like show me region and show me total sales once I had those things calculated or quantity sold something like that maybe it's by um, uh, city or by, uh, let's maybe look at it by a region instead, like this. Something like that. And take a look and see where you're, how much are you selling in each area? Or maybe by, um, category might be super interesting here as well. Um, maybe you want to put category over here and in your columns and look at this and take the values out of here. Um, let's put the values back in like uh, quantity sold, like back here. And once you calculate your total sales, that would be interesting. And see, is there some sort of pattern here like uh, central sells lots of office supplies? Um, furniture, uh, south is lower than everybody else. Uh, central technology is sold a lot of technology compared to everybody else. What are they doing that's different? Um, but really, these are just numbers that are quantities. They don't really mean anything because they could have $1,000 items or $1 items. You really need to do the total sales calculation to do stuff like that. This is, so I would build a pivot table and slice it and dice it different directions to think about the insights about your total sales. Okay, um, there you go. That's it for the insight sheet, I would say. Of course, do all the standards of professionalism stuff. Um, and then on the criteria here again, uh, it's going to ask you to make sure that these things are formatted with short dates. Um, on the order sheet, change customer to Brazina Hoffman to your name inside here. Uh, create a new city column. Um, and all LA references are replaced with whatever city you live in. Uh, sort it by region and then by state. And uh, Okay, which I already talked about. Highlight the entire row like this, which we talked about. Um, format retail price per unit as currency. So again, this should be currency. Um, uh, ordered five or more items should have a green check mark. Um, on the order sheet, format discount should be shown as a percentage, right? Um, on the order sheet, calculated the total sales and insured quantity and discount are used. So that's where we talked about this calculation. Um, Oh, there's another requirement on the order sheet, highlight in gold the top 10% of total sales in the total sales column. So it looks like we missed an item up here somewhere, huh? 
use conditional formatting to highlight the gold in the top 10% of cells. So you would use, you would have, once you have the total numbers calculated, you'd use color scales and you could do something like, uh, I guess this one by default, and then you could go in and manage the rule and edit it. Um, and the highest values would have, they want like a gold color, I guess like that. And the lowest values have nothing. And uh, you would use a formula uh, to describe it, or sorry, it said top 10%, right? Um, you would use the percentage. Let's see, bottom, top or bottom rank, top 10% of the selected range, something like that. And set a format like that. And there you go. And if you had numbers in there, it should choose the top 10%. Okay, so back down here now. Um, a new column called new col new order number. Yep, it's there. Create a dashboard sheet. Create the input cell. Uh, have all the other columns and the lookups appropriately for each one of those values. Protect the dashboard so the only thing they can use is the drop down. And then create an insights uh, sheet and write insights down based on that. I recommended using a pivot to play with the data to see if you could find some insights. Um, remove grid lines on the dashboard, clearly labeled inputs and outputs uh, on things. Uh, so if you have a supporting data, make sure you formatted this as inputs because those might change as they said and explanatory notes. And then the columns on the order sheet have been adjusted so that they uh, show everything and that's Normally, like a, just a double click on one of these right here changes the width on things nicely. Okay, that's it. I know you guys can do this. Um, I hope this was useful. Good luck.